Hi, my name is Richard Baxter. I'm Head of Sales and Marketing at MachineWorks. And today I'd like to talk to you about merging meshes um, with a new function we're calling Close using Reference Solid. And this will be available in Polygonica 3.2 uh, patch number four, which is, should hopefully be out later today. So as always, uh, please follow us on LinkedIn. Uh, we have a company page, MachineWorks Limited, and two showcase pages for Polygonica and MachineWorks, our two component SDKs. And uh, we push out lots of um, information and updates via that, this channel. So if you want to stay in, stay in touch and, uh, and find out what's going on, then this is a great way to do that. So what is Close using Reference Solid? Well, the idea here is that you've got a laser scan and for whatever reason, uh, or laser scan, optical scan or whatever, for whatever reason, you, you've got a region which has been scanned pretty well and that is important to the work you're going to do downstream. And the rest of the scan isn't very good. Um, it may have lots of missing regions due to occlusion, or maybe the operator just didn't take the time to scan very well, or you know maybe they only partially scans, scanned the, the result. But going downstream, even though you, re you really only care about one region of the model, you actually want to close what's type model for you know for whatever reason that is. So in this case, if you look at the model on the left, we, we've we've mocked up a laser scan. So this is a fake. It's not real data. It's a fake. It's some fake data um, we're showing you for this demo. And um, we've we've attempted to scan the facade, the front face of this building, very well or reasonably well. Uh, and then the rest of it is clearly not very good at all. Um, there's lots of missing data, lots of holes, lots of noise, etc. And then on the right, um, we've got the closed model where we've actually used the, the original design part and taken faces from the design part and used those to fill the holes. So we've got the original scan, but it's now closed and it's been closed in a sensible manner, a meaningful manner using um, the design part as a reference. Now we could close the, the model on the left using Polygonica's healing, so we could use PF solid close, but there's lots and lots of open edges all intermingled in that. And so the healing might give you a good result or it might possibly join the wrong open edge up to another wrong open edge and, and, and sort of bridge between edges that shouldn't be joined and create artifacts that way. So probably PF Solid Close isn't going to do a great job in this case, even though it would give you a watertight model. Similarly, we've got shrink wrapping, which you could you could shrink wrap around that, and, and that would uh, also give you a closed model. But again, some of the sort of internal regions, there's quite deep pockets, um, if you want to call them pockets, in this area, there's, 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 and there's big areas of occlusion. Uh, and in some cases, you can see that, um, for example, that um, this is this has come from an architectural model with 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 straight uh, walls, and um, but shrink wrap doesn't know that, so it would probably produce some curvature, um, etc. And similarly, we we could we could go and manually fill all the holes in, um, but that would be time consuming, and again, it might be difficult to get all the all the edges straight, all that kind of stuff. So uh, why would we uh, want want to um, close using a reference solid well at the moment we can't actually say what the use case is for this which is a bit of a shame so that's why we've had to fake the data uh, i can say it's not it's not architectural that we're using it for but I, I, I could imagine you might want to use this for in in large couple asset scans um and i'll give you a tip um if you think about the industry machine which came from um that'll, that'll probably point you in the right direction um as to why we've done this uh, and hopefully in, in in a few months we might be able to tell you more about um, why this function is really useful uh, and the kind of workflows um, that it's actually being used in. But for now, um, it's typically useful when you've got a good scan in the important regions that you're interested in measuring and the rest of the scan is pretty bad. Um, and you need to create a meaningful closed watertight model or potentially a model that just looks better. Uh, you know, if you ha if you present somebody with a scan, if you present an engineer with a scan that's that's just full of rubbish, uh, missing data, etc., the engineer is not going to have a lot of confidence in what you've given them. So maybe if you just need to tidy it up, uh, make it look better, then you could use this for that as well. 
So here's the APIs. Um, so it's pretty pretty straightforward. Um, you pass in a, a mesh that um, represents the solid that you want to close and the reference solid, which is, if you like, the donor of, of the faces that are going to be used to close the reference solid. And then there's a couple of options. One is to register, register the solids. Um, so initially it will perform a um, alignment uh, so that they're as close as possible. Uh, so you hopefully getting the right polygons in the right places. And then there's a, a threshold which we kind of don't anticipate anyone really ever using. But the idea is that beyond a certain distance, um, you are not allowed to take faces from the reference solid. Um, so, for example, if you had multiple walls in a line and some of the walls had gaps in them, it might it might attempt to take um, it might attempt to take polygons from the furthest one. And really, you don't want to do that. You actually want to close the gaps in the interim ones first. Um, so that's there just in case. Um, but as I say, I don't think anyone's likely to use it, at least in the near term. Um, and uh, I'm going to go on to the demo. If you need to contact us, uh, feel free. You can, there's a contact form on the website or you can find us on LinkedIn. So as usual, the first thing to point out is this demo, uh, Polygonica demo, isn't available. You can't buy it anywhere. Um, Polygonica is a software library um, that you embed within your own uh, software products. Uh, so this uh, graphical user interface you can see is literally just for demo demonstration purposes. So first of all, I'll load in that scan I showed you before and you can see, I mean, okay, it's got some uh, self intersections, but the front is, is okay. It's, it's not bad. It's been scanned reasonably well. Um, there are a lot of little islands and things like that. So I think first thing we'll just get rid of those. Um, we don't need to, but um, they are, they're obviously going to make the process a little more difficult when we come to merging things. And they're not important. We don't really want to use them for measurement. So I'll just click review, remove small shells and that gets rid of those. Um, and the red bits are some self intersections, but I don't think we need to fix those at this point. Um, so next I'll load in the, um, build it, the building model. So this is, uh, I'm just going to, it's got some self intersection, so I'll just fix it. So here you can see in brown is the actual building model. Now let me uh, let me hide the scan. So this is just something uh, we knocked up in Blender, uh, and uh, yeah, it's a very very simple part. But it's been, we've deliberately designed it so that um, there's. I mean, if this was a mechanical part, you'd see it would be it would have lots of pockets uh, in there. Um, in this case, it's an architectural part um, uh, for show all and. If I make the, um, if I get the right right thing, so make it transparent, you can see the overlay of the two uh, models there. So I'm going to go to the metrology tab here. Um, I won't bother registering solids because I know they're already they're already registered, and that's going to it's going to speed it up if I don't do that. And then I'll click merge, uh, and so this is calling PF solid close using reference solid. And, and in effect, it's, it's transferring polygons from the um, design part, from the brown part, and, and merging them with the um, gray part, which is the, the mesh. Um, now, I mean, it conceptually sounds easy, but it's really quite difficult uh, to do that and get a nice result, um, as you can probably imagine. OK, so that's taken 26 seconds. Um, OK, we've got some self intersections and whatnot in the results. So let me just. I'll just use Polygonic as automatic healing just to just to f um, fix it. Um, I am not I'm not going to apologise for self intersections in this. Uh, it's it's you can see that the original scan is pretty cruddy, and um, you can imagine getting a, a good result out of it. it's not not straightforward. But there we go. That that looks pretty good. Um, let me uh, if you look at the traffic lights down here, it's all green, closed, no intersections, manifold. Um, so if I Compare the two side by side, and I'm just going to delete the um, design part so you can see the original mesh. And I mean, if we look at the front, um, we there should have been a lot of change to the front because that's the bit we were actually interested in. If you look at the bottom, well, there wasn't really a bottom to the model at all, so you, that's been replaced by the bottom from the uh, reference part. But if we look at this back area here, back region, you can see, um, for example, down here, um, we've kept the mesh 
we kept the scan but where there is no scan it's been merged quite nicely um, with the um, polygons from the reference solid and similarly in this region um, same thing here uh, so we've got a nice closed watertight result um, suitable for downstream operations okay that's that's really the end of the demo and um, the only other thing just to say is obviously this is faked data it's not real data it's not a real laser scan and it's not a real model we, we've made it all ourselves okay if you've any questions or want to find out more about this or about polygonica in general then please feel free to get in touch on the website i'm more than happy to give live demos uh, to people and and show you i, I can talk about polygonica for for, for many hours if you want to hear that so, so please don't be shy uh, and hope to be talking to you soon